I say, let's embrace the muffin top. I'm Sally from Taylor Takes a Taste, and today we'll be making easy vanilla muffins. These muffins are buttery and delicious. You can eat them day, night, and customize them in a variety of ways. To get started on this muffin, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Now we're ready to do the muffin method. The muffin method is mixing the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, and you use this method when you're making muffins, quick breads, pancakes, and waffles. I like to make a little well in the flour, and you can do this with the back of a measuring cup. I pour in the liquid mixture, which is your liquid fat, your melted butter, your milk, your eggs, and your vanilla. Now it's time to stir it together. You can use a fork, a spoon, your choice. I just want you to go easy on this because if you overwork this batter, it's gonna be tough. And I've heard of tough cookies, but I've never heard anyone say, well, she's a really tough muffin. So go easy, about 10 seconds. Now this is what it should look like. It's everything is blended, it's just mixed. Let's put the batter into our prepared muffin pan. You can use a scoop, you may use spoons, you can use a measuring cup. The trick is, is to divide it equally between the cups. Put the muffin tin in the oven. You'll notice I put mine on top of a baking sheet. It's just a little bit easier for me to grab a rimmed baking sheet than it is a muffin tin. I can't tell you how many times I've had on one of those potholder mitt things and grabbed the muffins only to put a thumbprint in one as I'm trying to get them out of the oven. Bake the muffins for 15 to 20 minutes or until they're lightly golden brown. Remove the muffins from the oven and let them cool in the muffin pan for about 10 minutes. Then you may pick them up and remove the muffins and place them on a wire rack to finish cooling. Now here's something you can do that's really cool with some of these warm vanilla muffins just to kick them up a notch. Make a cinnamon sugar muffin. Here's what you need. You need a bowl of granulated sugar with a hefty dose of cinnamon that you've stirred up and you need some melted unsalted butter. After you have removed the muffins from the muffin tin and put them on the wire rack while they're still warm, dip the muffin top into the melted butter and then swirl it around in the sugar and place it back on the wire rack until it's cool and it's delicious. It tastes just like some coffee cake cinnamon toast creation that would have taken you 20 times longer to make and not, not to mention how many more dirty dishes. You can also coat these muffins with a ganache glaze or you could use colored sugar. You could probably sprinkles if that's the way you want to go. I know that's getting in cupcake territory, but now say you like the vanilla muffin, but you really want a berry muffin. Well, that's easy. You take the basic vanilla muffin recipe and you add one cup of berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. It doesn't matter, they're all delicious. Now the best time to add these berries is add them to the dry mixture before you've added the wet ingredients. Toss them around in the flour. That little light coating of flour is going to help your berries stay suspended in the muffin so they're not just all at the bottom when you peel back the muffin paper. Go ahead and follow the recipe as usual at that point and add the egg and milk mixture and stir lightly. Put in muffin cups, bake for about 15 to 20 minutes and you have fabulous berry muffins. Well, there you have it. We've made vanilla muffins using our muffin mixing method. Whether you want to dip them in sugar, top them with sprinkles, or put your favorite fruit inside of them, these muffins are sure to be a hit in your family. For more muffin recipes, check out taylortakesataste.com. And you know, while you're at it, check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe.